Get out and vote for Roy Moore. Do it. Do it. Do it. I couldn't vote for Roy Moore. The state of Alabama deserves better. Donald Trump gave Alabama voters a direct order, do it, do it, and Alabama voters paid more attention to their Republican Senator Richard Shelby than they did to President Trump. And an editorial in the New York Times tonight says, a triumph for decency and common sense in a state that seemed for a time at risk of abandoning both. Mr. Jones's win narrows the Republican Senate majority and delivers a deeply deserved rebuke to President Trump. Joining the discussion now, Corinne Jean-Pierre, senior advisor and national spokesperson for MoveOn.org. Also with us, Ron Klain, the former chief of staff to Vice Presidents Joe Biden and Al Gore, and a former senior aide to President Obama. And back with us, Maria Theresa Kumar. Uh, Corinne, uh, this is, as the New York Times uh, puts it, a deeply deserved rebuke to Donald Trump. It is. It is a, a big smackdown to Donald Trump indeed. And it's not once, but twice. As we know, he was uh, he had supported Luther, Luther Strange, who was corrupt. And even when he supported Luther Strange, you, you kind of had that feeling that he really wanted to be with Roy Moore, the bigot. Um, and then he had his opportunity to do that and went out and campaigned for him. It, it, well, even though it was in Florida, he was still campaigning for him. It was clear what he was doing. Did a robocall, as we just heard. And it was a smackdown once again, uh, twice and twice uh, in just in a couple of months in Alabama. And let's not what ha let's not forget what happened in in Virginia and New Jersey just a couple of weeks ag weeks ago. And we got and we don't we have to remember uh, Alabama's a ruby red state. He won it by 28 percent, uh, 28 points last time around. And this is where we are today. What voters saying? No way, no how. Ron Klain, a uh, big surprise. The self-admitted sexual assaulter uh, endorses the accused child molester and the accused child molester loses. Uh, I thought that's the way that equation was supposed to come out and it did. Yeah, Lawrence, I think uh, it's a huge loss for Trump for the reasons just stated, for the obviously loss of a Senate seat and putting the Senate in play in 2018, but I think most of all for the reason you just mentioned. I think the fact that Roy Moore was a predator was not a factor that kept Donald Trump from endorsing him, but was a desirable factor in this candidacy for Donald Trump. He thought today he would be able to say, see, the voters decided this doesn't matter. See, shut up, stop talking about the women who are accusing to me. The voters put a child molester in the Senate. And instead of putting this to rest, uh, the rebuke that we got, that that movement got, that, 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 that idea, Trump idea got, in the sixth most Republican state in the country is a wake-up call that this Me Too movement has huge momentum, even in red states, and that uh, there's a reckoning coming for President Trump on this issue. Okay, we now have the video of Steve Bannon tonight, uh, his first reaction uh, to this huge defeat for Steve Bannon personally. And uh, we're, we're going to show it in just a second. Uh, and the only hint I have for you before you see it is Steve Bannon is speechless. Let's take a look at this. Mr. Bannon, this is, this is a huge defeat for you. Now, uh, we don't have ready to go all that video of Steve Bannon standing up with the microphone doing his stand-up routine in Alabama, uh, having more to say about this than, uh, than he knew. Uh, but Maria Teresa, there he is tonight uh, getting into the Escalade and doesn't have a word to say. Well, because he lost famously. He went to, Oklahoma, uh, to Alabama more times than even President Trump. He thought that this was a, a slam dunk. Again, President Trump won Alabama just a year ago by 28 points, and this was literally the Alabama voters saying that not only did they not like the brand of Steve Bannon, but they did not actually like the brand of Donald Trump. And let's not look at this in a vacuum. The fact that the, that the president also lost in a bigly way in Virginia and New Jersey, but also across the state, there is a wave coming. And the one that's going to, the person who's going to wake up with heartburn, while Mitch McConnell today said, 
you know, you, I told you so. Tomorrow he's going to wake up with heartburn because now the Senate is definitely in play. Look at Nevada. Look at, at Arizona, mm -hmm. where you have a large group of Latino voters coming their way saying, we're not going to actually support this type of presidency or the type of brand that Steve Bannon claims to be of the Republican Party. I think uh, Alabama and the country deserves to see Steve Bannon one more time uh, in his <laughs> reaction tonight because it is so quick and also because this is someone who went to Alabama to spread his particular brand of poison and try to elect this accused child molester and he looked as though he felt so victorious uh, on those stages with that microphone. But let's take one more look at Steve Bannon tonight after he was crushed in this election in Alabama. Bannon, this is, this is a huge defeat for you. Uh, Kareen, and I just want to let the control room know, if you want to just run that in a box in the corner for the rest of the hour, that's going to be all right with us. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make some room on the screen. Uh, Kareen, you, I have, it's, it's rare to see uh, a political strategist go in such, uh, I mean, we've never seen a political strategist who claims to be a political strategist, uh, which he's never been paid to do no. before, uh, to go in this kind of direction. Mitch McConnell said this guy was going to destroy the party. Uh, and if, if there's a Republican left who doesn't think Mitch McConnell's right, I, I don't know who that could be. <laughs> right. I, I mean, right. Steve Bannon wanted to, as he has always done, wanted to stick it to uh, Mitch McConnell and the Republican Party. That's what this was all about. I mean, look, Steve Bannon is a blowhard. The only thing he's ever won was clearly last year with Donald Trump, but he didn't even run that campaign. Uh, he was not the campaign manager, but he came in there with his toxic brand and tried to prove that he was something that he's not, which is, a, which is I guess, a, a deal maker or, or a delivery or a real strategist and right what we saw is the emperor has no clothes um, not that I want to see that but it is indeed what is <laughs> happening with uh, Steve Bannon hey there I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube if you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos